Holy cow. It's Henry! And Mowers and Blowers! Hey guys, how you doing? It's Henry! And Mowers and Blowers! <laughs> I'm coming to you again from my van. You guys know what happens when I'm coming from my van. I'm going out to get something. That's right, a pick, a score, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I got a text message from my boy Nick from Medford. That's right, he's, he's always on his phone checking out for great deals. And uh, so he saw something that he wouldn't want, but he shoots me out a message because he knows that I might be interested. So it's a listing on Facebook Marketplace. And it was a listing by a guy that just listed it about 35 minutes ago. So that's pretty good odds that I'll be able to score it because it's so new and fresh on Facebook. And I'll probably want to be the first ones to contact him about it. So the guy's giving away six lawnmowers, push mowers, you know, self-propelled, whatever, push mowers. Uh, some of them have bags. I see uh, there might be one of them with a 550EX engine or a 550E, one of those newer Briggs engines. I see a Toro a recycler in there. And they don't look all, you know, super old, you know. It's not like a bunch of Pulsar jet engines, you know. They all look like Quantums to me. Um, and they all look, you know, pretty complete. So if he's given six away, you know, you gotta go and score that, at least try, right? Problem is, he's in Sound Beach. It's a little bit north of Miller Place. It's, it's pretty far. It's even, you ready for this? It's even further than Medford. Whew. So uh, according to my uh, GPS, it's showing 55 minute drive on the local northern road. I could take the LIE, which is the Long Island Expressway, but I'd have to go south a ways to get on the highway, to go east, and then get off and go north again when I'm already north. So I, there's our local road called 454, then the 347, past Port Jefferson, and boom, I'm there. So I've got about uh, 20 minutes left, not bad, and uh, I messaged a guy and I says, look, I'm coming from an hour away, you know, I'll come and get them, but please try to hold them for me. You know, it's kind of hard to ask people to hold something for you because all they want to do is get rid of it, you know? Look at this. Is that a new kind of Trans Am? That, is that the latest Trans Am? Pretty cool. Uh, anyway, he says, yeah, it's still here. I'll hold it for you. I'm like, wow, nice guy, huh? Anyway, so, uh, I'll be there in about 20 minutes. Hopefully it's still there. Otherwise I just drove an hour here and an hour back for nothing. one that's a uh, MTD with the, you know, the one that I picked five or six up this year, MTD with the 550EX uh, auto choke engine. Uh, it's off the end, off the deck, I don't know why, it worries me a bit. Uh, there's a piece of junk Murray with a uh, quantum engine on it. And so, uh, you know, I was talking to Brian for a little bit, he makes chicken coops. Very interesting. I like chickens. Anyway, I'm on my way home, and uh, we're going to call this mother load. I don't know exactly what number it is. It's been a while since I got a mother load pick, you know what I mean? But uh, thanks very much to Nick from Netflix, who uh, tipped me off on this uh, 
pick, and if it wasn't for him seeing it right away and telling me right away, I wouldn't be able to message Brian right away. So apparently I was the first one to uh, notify him that I was gonna come get him, and uh, he said he had a lot of uh, a lot of people who wanted it, you know, I'm not surprised, and uh, I, I'm probably one of the first ones to, to message him about it, so. So good timing, and if you wanted to get something like this, that's exactly what it is. You have, it's all about the timing. You either scour them all day, which is what Nick does, you know, and I don't, but he lets me know. So I appreciate it very much. I'm gonna take these home and uh, we'll unload them and take a better look at them. So I'm home now. Uh, I was just checking my GoPro. I actually time-lapsed me loading all seven mowers, but uh, <laughs> I guess I erased it by accident. Well, I'll definitely show you what they are unloading them. So here it is, seven push mowers and lawn mowers. Let's start with the left hand side. Toro Recycler, front wheel drive, 22 inch. It's all there, it's the Kohler XT675. Uh, Love this one, really like this engine. Uh, I just uh, put an XT7 on that um, MTD just the other day. Another one, almost exactly the same, I believe. Missing a cover there from what I can see. And a bagger. Looks like it's all there. Just wonder if the cables work. Oh, I hate these Murrays. Oh, I hate them. The small little bag. I mean, the opening is like that big. Missing a cover over here, but it's a quantum engine. I just sold a cover for that too. Craftsman push mower 6.5 Quantum has this gas cap that always breaks. This one's actually good. Sometimes when you screw this on too tight, the top part pops off. You know what I mean? You guys know what I mean. I hate this ga uh, gas cap. It's terrible. Look, I can't even I can't even screw it on. Decent shape, high wheel. No bagger. This is the uh, 550 EX auto choke. The engine is off. No blade, no blade adapter. No bagger. I've had about five or six of these things this year. They mow very well, believe it or not. It's a Troy built, uh, rear self propelled. Pretty cool. It has the uh, height adjusters where you just, it's just uh, one lever for the height and it does both front and back. This is self propelled and it is an auto choke because you can see there's no primer bulb for the Quantum. Ooh, 60 bucks. That's cheap if it ran. The uh, select speed transmission, that, that system over here. Wow. You know what it means when it's so fancy like that, right? It means that it when it breaks, it's tons of labor involved and plenty of expensive parts too. Craftsman Gold, front self-propelled. Looks just like a uh, Husqvarna, doesn't it? Just picture it orange. If you picture it orange with Husqvarna stickers, hey, it's a Husqvarna. Looks like this is all there too. Has that yucky gas cap. No bag, high wheel. They're decent mowers, man. All of these are. Stokage. So what do you guys think, huh? Just when I was running low on things to do. When it rains, it pours. And that's, what, that's why they coined that phrase, when it rains, it pours. I gotta thank Nick from Medford, 
who in the past three days have contributed to tons of equipment that I've gotten for free. That's right, free. Today was mother load pick, thanks to a tip from Nick from Medford. Thank you very much, Nick. You're a badass. Seven pretty decent mowers that can be fixed, you know. This is enough work for me for like a month, you know what I mean? Uh, let's find out as we move forward how much each would cost me. You guys know I've got tons of parts. I'd be kind of worried if I had to spend $5 on something, but I'm pretty sure that I have all kinds of parts for me to get these going, you know? Um, so out of these seven, if I sell them between $100 and $150 each, if they all run, that's a good score. It's about $800 worth of stuff provided that they all run. Uh, at the very least, you know, you get one that's running in great condition, you know, you got a ton of parts, you know what I mean? But uh, this is a good score, definitely a good score. Um, these have to probably go on the back burner though, because remember, I've got a couple of haulers that are before this. So I'll just put these in queue, you know what I mean? But plenty of content coming forward to you on mowers and blowers. Make sure you uh, support the channel, buy a sticker, and go to the other two. PayPal.me slash mowers and blowers. Every dollar counts, and I really appreciate it. Keeps the videos coming every day. We'll see you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. So I don't know where I'm gonna put all that stuff, you know? My garage was empty before, and now I got two tractors sitting in here. Where am I gonna put seven push mowers? I put them in the backyard, but honestly, I don't have any more room underneath the tent, you know what I mean? And my sprinklers go off every day, and I, I just hate to leave stuff outside in the rain, you know what I mean, or the water. So I guess I cleared out the side over here, and maybe I could fit five or six, maybe all of them. We'll see. tractors and of course I got my Jamal Alatet and Blue Bayou in here too. Man oh man I can't even walk in my garage guys. Oh well, you know what it's been a while since I scored so much in such a short time you know. It's I'm due. I got plenty to do now man. See you guys later. next time on Mowers and Blowers.